Hi guys, good morning. It's a Saturday today, and I'm working on a new drawing illustration. And I thought I wanted to show you my process、uh, in sketching new illustrations. I hope you like it, and you'll be able to learn、uh, something from this video. So right now I'm drawing a girl, and she's spending some alone time reading a book and enjoying a nice cup of tea or coffee. So the sketch of the girl、uh, is finished, and now I'm adding some flower flowers to make the illustration look a bit more aesthetic. And it gives an effect of fantasy to the illustration as well. So I kind of drew the the flower flower too big. So I'm going to reduce the size of the flower once I edit it on my laptop. So I've started working on editing the illustration on my laptop on Wednesday, the 10th of February. I usually start by、uh, drawing the outline again. So I chose to draw the outline in brown color instead of black because I think the brown color looks better. So I'm really bad at drawing lines on these、uh, digital applications. So、I've, you'll see me、uh, drawing and erasing and drawing the same line again and again until I think it's smooth enough. So. If you're used to using these digital applications, you might be you, you're probably much much better than me at、um, drawing lines. But I hope I can improve in drawing better lines、uh, with more practice. So I I'm going to be posting more of these kind of videos so that you can see the process、um, that I'm going through when I create illustrations for my online shop. So this illustration will also be available on my online shop, and I hope you can check it out soon.、Uh, maybe by the end of this week, it will be available on my shop, and my shop will be open again. So for those who are new to using digital applications、uh, to draw, I usually scan the the sketch of my drawing, and then I create a. I open it on this application, which is Medibank Paint Pro. It is a free application you can use to edit、uh, images digitally. It has less、um, options than Photoshop or、um, Illustrator, but I think it's a good one for amateurs. So I scan the image and I open it on this this、um, drawing application, and then I create a new layer to draw the outline of the illustration on that layer, and then I can edit、um, that. The layer with the outlines is big. So now I'm adding some text to the drawing illustration. So I have some difficulty looking for the right font. And、uh, after that, I started to color the illustration. So、um, actually, when I'm looking at the the image on the screen, it's a different color from what I filmed on my camera. So I think the print might also be slightly different color than what you're seeing right now on the screen. So if you want to see the the actual color that's going to look like, so it's better that you visit my shop. You will see the the color of the print itself on the T-shirt or stickers or maybe tote bag or poster or whatever item you want to、uh, get in the, in my shop. So now I'm coloring the flower. And I try to create some、uh, lovely effect by adding some white outline on white lines on the flowers. And I had some difficulty looking for the right colors, so I hope you like this color combination. And I try to add sh some shadows on the、uh, on her clothes. So I created several layers to add the colors. That it's easier to edit. So I'm nearly done here. You will see the final image soon, and then I hope you can visit my shop to find、uh, the products that you like with this illustration on it. Thank you for watching me、um, creating this illustration.
On Friday the 12th of February, I also went to attend the mass. It was a special mass for the celebration of the Chinese New Year. So that's why at the end of the mass we had uh, a lion dance performance. It was a fun day that we spent with the family and um, we also ate a lot of snacks, the traditional Chinese snacks. And the weather was really good, it was really nice, sunny. Then on Saturday the 13th of February, I went to the market with my mom and my brother. So I hadn't, haven't been to the central market in Port Louis for a very long time and I was really surprised that there were so, so many uh, vegetables and fruits sold there. And it was really, really crowded. You notice that there are several people who are not wearing their mask. That's because in Mauritius right now we don't have any local cases. We only have imported cases and they are all in quarantine until they recover. So we are very lucky in that sense and um, a lot of people are very uh, relaxed in terms of wearing the mask. Uh, but we still wear it just in case um, for, our own, for our own safety. Uh, we still wear the mask to keep ourselves and our family safe because we never know um, if it happens there's a um, spread of the virus. But so far, so good, and uh, yeah, we are all very lucky indeed. So I'm nearly of our visit in the marketplace. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short visit. Then we went shopping in the area. We are waiting to cross the street at the Plastom Avenue. Plastom is an avenue where you can find a lot of the banks uh, in Mauritius. You have the local banks and international banks aligned on both sides of this avenue. And uh, you can also find money changers in this area. So if you have, you have to look for a bank when you come to Mauritius, this is a place where you can easily find one. Then we went to Jardin de la Compagnie on our way back home. It's a garden located in the city center and it's a place where you can get some shade under the banyan trees and it's less noisy compared to when you're walking on the streets. So I think these banyan trees must be very old because they are quite tall and uh, their vines are so long. Then on Sunday the 14th of February, I went on an outing with my family. We visited the Vallée des Couleurs Nature Park. It's located in Chamonix around the southern area of the island. It's a really nice and beautiful uh, nature park. I would totally recommend uh, to you to visit this place if you ever come to Mauritius. So uh, I really enjoyed the flowers and scenery there. We also came across this Japanese style garden. It was really lovely with flowers grown in this small pond. It's a really nice place if you want to have uh, some quality time with your family. And um, you even have a kiosk over there where you can have your picnic. 
and I love how the stones are placed on top of each other it looks really cool I think and we really enjoyed the nice weather on that day we were really blessed with nice weather and we were lucky that when we visited the nature park on that Sunday the the place was not crowded at all there was there were, weren't a lot of visitors and we were able to enjoy this place freely then we reached the main attraction in this nature park it's the 23 colored earths so um, there's this area with a lot of differently colored herbs uh, deposited there um, they say it's the deposits from a volcano which erupted and the lava flowed over there and over the years this lava formed into this uh, area of colorful soils so they say that there are 23 colors uh, of soil deposited there so I took some um, videos of this place because it was quite interesting to look at and also um, when there was different intensity of light shining on, onto the, uh, this area of colored earth, I think the earth looked like different colors. And then you can also see the the sea the ocean in the horizon and it looked really pretty. And we walk closer to the colored earths and it looks like it looks like this. So you can see there are different nuances of of the the soil accumulate, accumulated there. I think there are shades of purple, brown, red, maybe a little bit of orange, grey and uh, other shades of colours. Then we had a really nice walk around the park. We enjoyed the sceneries and the lovely trees and rivers. It is a really peaceful place and wonderful to, to visit. If you enjoy the sound of nature, this is a place you should visit. The trees look beautiful and we felt really relaxed here. There was also this interesting restaurant which was located just next to a waterfall. So you can have lunch while listening to the sound of the waterfall. I thought it was a really um, interesting idea. So we continued exploring this nature reserve park and we reached this attraction which is the Nepalese bridge. So we attempted this challenge and it was really scary at first. So we have to cross this bridge and um, we were able to make it somehow. We got the courage and made it to the other side and we were very very happy when we finally reached the end of the bridge. We also got the chance to meet this friend here, our dear friend. He actually, <laughs> he took some snacks from us. Uh, we were quite surprised when we saw him grabbing some of our, of our snacks, but it was fun and we were able to take some pictures with him. Then we walked around some more exploring this beautiful place and there was this water area surrounded by the, these beautiful trees and uh, here's the, another waterfall. This one looks very beautiful too. Then we tried another activity. It's 
an easier one compared to the crossing the bridge so this one is called luge karting so we are riding a luge and it's uh, using the force of gravity to descend down a hill so you can use the brake to control the speed that you are going down the hill it was fun and we felt like we were playing Mario Kart in real life when we were riding this luge We are near the end of our visit in this nature reserve park. I hope you enjoyed it with us. There's a waterfall around here too on the other side of this small lake. And there were also some ducks swimming over there on the other side of the lake but they were too far away so I couldn't get a closer shot of them and we also met this buddy here a big tortoise he was looking for some food to eat he was probably fed up eating grass <laughs> We saw some people going down the zip line. That's another activity we haven't tried. Maybe we we'll try it try it next time when we come here again. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and come visit me on my shop or Instagram and Facebook. Thanks.